Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and today I want to show you a new fuel transfer tank that I'm going to be using for anything on the property that takes gas instead of diesel. So what I've been doing previously is I had these two tanks, one with diesel and the other with gasoline. And not long after I set this up, I showed it in a video, and people informed me that you're actually not supposed to put gas in these tanks, and... So I quit doing it. I haven't been using this. It's just been sitting here and I've been using the diesel one. And I really want something better than taking five gallon cans to the gas station every time I need to fill up. So I'm going to switch it over and I'm going to use both of these for diesel. So now I'll have a hundred gallon capacity on my diesel tanks. And I've got a new tank that I'm going to use for gasoline. So let's grab that and I'll show you why I picked the one I did. And... Hopefully, it's going to work for what I need. So when I started looking for options for a gas tank, a couple things I had in mind. Number one, I wanted it considerably larger than a five-gallon jug. Number two, I wanted it to have a hose on it so it could reach up to the sawmill. I mounted my sawmill pretty high. It's hard to get a jug up there. Next thing is, I wanted it to still be portable so that I didn't need the tractor every time I wanted to move it. So those other tanks are 50-gallon, and I built them onto a stand and they ended up being too heavy. I can't just move it to the piece of equipment without the tractor. So what I've got here is a 35 gallon with a hand pump crank. That's another thing. My pumps on those are electric, which is better, except I don't want to always need an electrical power source to use the pump. So I got the hand crank on a 35 gallon with wheels. I'm not sure if I said it already, but the last requirement was it needs to specifically be rated for hauling gasoline, and this one is. Now this tank with the pump was $235, and I paid more than that for just the tanks down there, and I had to get the pumps separately. So those setups are a little bigger, and they've got electric pumps, but I think I spent over $500 on those. So. Looks like there's some minor assembly here, probably not too much to it. Putting the wheels on was really simple, just a couple bolts with washers. And we've got smaller front casters, look like those just screw right in. Get those on real quick. Before we put the pump on, we've got a little bit of a sealer here. Some type of red thread sealer, the bottle doesn't have any label on it. I don't know what exactly it is. Then we're gonna remove one bolt from the pump and put a ground wire on it. Ground wire is part of what makes this suitable for gasoline. Next we have this hose barb that screws into the top of the pump. And we put the handle on. Got a flat spot on the shaft. Tighten this screw down on that. We've got a hose and a hose clamp. That ain't going nowhere. Okay, then we've got a handle that drops in here. Bolts come through the bottom of these little brackets bolt the handle down and those bolts have washers now, I guess this is like a fuel gauge or something I don't know it's got markings on it but I don't know how it would work there's a little rod right in here I guess this floats up that's what it is that's just gonna float up and be an indicator we've just got the gas cap now whereas I got this to fill the mower the sawmill stuff like that by turning forward but it says if you turn it backward you can siphon with it so just another functionality well let's go fill this thing up and see if it works it's really easy to set that in there by hand and i've got 30 gallons of fuel in it 
It's heavy now and I've got it strapped back to the tailgate with a heavy strap. All that was pretty good. The only challenge is deciding the best way to unload it. Um, I've got a wide ramp that would work well for this, but it's in front of the shop and I want the tank over there. So I think I'm going to put the forks close together on the tractor and drive right under it. See how it goes. Just as a point of reference or curiosity, I went in and prepaid $100. That got me 32 gallons. It was 309. So tell me what you're paying for gas in your part of the country. Or even more interesting, this is May of 2023. If you're watching this a year or two from now, what are you paying for gas? This probably only weighs about 220 pounds. A real man would bear hug it, bring it over, and set it down. But I don't want to embarrass anyone by doing that. All right, so let's see if this works. Uh, my previous mowers, I think, had like a two-gallon capacity or something. Little bitty tanks on those stand-ons. This is a big tank. And it is immediately flowing. No delay on that. It's filling quickly. Okay, that side's full. Six gallons on that tank. Six gallons on this tank. Okay, now my hose is full of gas. I just turn it the other way. right back in so I didn't pay for this Vivor sent it to me to give my opinion on it and my opinion is this is an inexpensive fuel transfer tank with a hand crank pump it feels like an inexpensive tank this is you know just plastic on the top it does show you what, how much fuel's in there. So I put 30 gallons in it. It looks like 17 on here, and that takes 12. So it might be off a little bit, but it is showing you that there's fuel in there. You know, everything, it works. It's simple, relatively inexpensive, and it's going to work. I guess the last thing before I sign the video off is how easy is this to move? Well, if that little game of Ring Around the Rosie doesn't convince you, I don't know what will. Now, this has got little front casters, so you could probably roll it real easy on a concrete floor, but this is not a smooth floor. But I can easily move it around. So anyway, I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.